the basketball game about to start between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Hoosiers of Indiana. Ralph Hacker, this is what college basketball is all about. This is where they wrote it, Keywood, right here. Rupp Arena setting its own history as it continually, year after year, adds up to the great attendance records in America in college basketball. And tonight, we could very well set the all-time attendance record for a basketball game, which is currently held by the University of Kentucky here in Rupp Arena. We do know, according to Russell Rice, who's the sports information director at the university, that this is the greatest press turnout he has ever had for a basketball game. We've noticed people from all over the country coming in to cover this. Dave Kindred has come in from the Washington Post. We've seen several other national writers that have come in to cover it. As the number one Indiana Hoosiers play the number five ranked Kentucky Wild Ball. It is almost like we've had the bragging rights of two states put up here tonight as we uh, prepare to tip off with Kentucky and Indiana. Bobby Knight standing behind his team as they huddle alone out in front of the official scorer's bench. Bobby standing with that red and white plaid jacket and his hands on his hips. Turns and walks over to the bench where he prepares to sit. Joe Hall has his team gathered around him. Dickie Parsons, Dwayne Casey, Joe Dean. Men on the game. Here's Kaywood Lefter. Moving in to jump center for Kentucky is Sam Bowie and Grunwald. Glenn Grunwald is 6'9". Nope, it's Tolbert. We thought it would be. And they're in there now and they'll jump. So we're ready to go. Kentucky versus Indiana. And here comes the toss. It's up. And, may, and the tap goes to Anderson as Kentucky's got it. So Dwight Anderson brings it over the line, gives to Kyle Macy. Macy circling off to the left, goes low to Bowie, fans it back out to Macy, over the left corner, goes to Williams, out to Macy, to, Wood, to Anderson. Anderson looks inside, Bowie goes in on the high post, Bowie weaves it around. Macy takes it, drives toward the right corner, goes on into the corner with it, got two men after him there, and a man to man, they try to get him in the trap. Anderson comes over and rescues him, brings him back out at long range. Anderson working around, Thomas after him, checks right side to Macy, goes to the baseline. Cowan. Cowan moves in. Here's Anderson going for the basket. He's under. He missed it. Tapped up. No good. Tapped up. No good. Tapped up and good. Who got it, Ralph? Hey, well, I believe it was Bowie, but I'll have to wait and see. It was Bowie. Bowie. So it's 2-0 Kentucky. Indiana with a ball. Here's LeVon Williams. Knocks it down. And we've got a foul on Grunwald. LeVon Williams making the steal, and Grunwald fouls him. Cats lead. Comes into Anderson, right back to Kyle Macy. Macy, guarded by a freshman, gets it over the time stripe. Still dribbling out there, not going anywhere. Now bounces to Bowie. Anderson cuts by, tries to go for the basket, can't get through. Looks in, goes to Bowie. He drops the ball. He picks it up, has it slapped away, picks it up again. Loose ball, and Indiana's got it. They took it away from Bowie. Isaiah Thomas trying to get through. Can't. Goes into the right corner. Jump shot by Woodson is no good. Knocked out of bounds by Indiana. Kentucky's ball. But Colbert went up over top of 7-1 Sam Bowie to slap that ball away from him. Coach Joe Hall just yelled something to Bowie, and I think it was get off your feet. Macy brings it over the timeline on the left side. Checks. Goes to Cowan. High post. He looks inside. He can't find anybody, and he's charging. Good call. Freddie tried to go to the basket and picks up his first foul. Kentucky's first foul. Indiana gets the ball out of bounds. Bobby Knight arguing tenaciously with Paul Galvan, one of the officials. Galvan, Charles Tanner, and Art White are the officials for tonight's game. Kentucky picking up all over the court. Man to man. Grunwald gets it in to Thomas. Anderson is taking him defensively. Gets it over the line, puts some moves, whips it in there out of bounds. No, out of bounds, Jeff. Goes over to Kentucky. That's the second turnover for the Hoosiers. Kyle Macy on the attack down court. Thomas waits for him. Macy drives it over on the left side. Still dribbling. Moves it down the left side. Not going uh, now. Shifting rack and forth. Can't get through. Turns. Looks outside. Has the ball slapped out of his hands. Picks it up. Moves back in. And cross court. LeVon Williams into the lane. Turns with a six footer. No good. Tapped in by Bowie. They're canceling the basket. And, and charging him with a foul. I think they're charging Bowie with a foul. Yeah. I think that was a decent call. Might have been. He was up over his back. It, it is his first, Kentucky's second. So it's 2 0. Indiana's ball. Kentucky picking up all over the court. Comes into Thomas. Anderson cracking him. As Isaiah Thomas, the talented freshman out of Chicago, gets it over the line for Indiana. Anderson still with him. The two work. Thomas still looking. Still looking. Right side, he gets it to Woodson. Cowan with him defensively. Woodson brings it out into backcourt. Holds up at the top of the keyhole. Gives it off to Thomas. Thomas spinning. Drives into the lane. Passes off underneath. Woodson puts it up. It's blocked. 
High Kentucky. Bowie blocks it. Anderson running it the other way. Can't get through. Holds up. Gives to Macy. Macy drives to the lane off the Bowie, and he juggled the ball. Picked up in there by LeVon Williams and Grunwald fouls him. Bowie would have had a gimme, but he didn't expect the pass, and it almost uh, really took him by surprise. From his own end zone to Bowie in the right corner. Macy, top of the key. He's got daylight. Let's it go. Good. A 20-footer by Kyle Macy. Kentucky leads 4 to nothing. Indiana on the attack. Isaiah Thomas back and forth. Weaves his way across the line with Anderson after him. Here's Tolbert, who's out of the pivot on the left side. Going inside the Grunwald, and Cowan is hooking him. Freddie Cowan picks up his second foul, number three against the Wildcats of Kentucky. Indiana's ball out of bounds. We have played a little over two and a half minutes. All right, here's the inbounds play. Comes into Tolbert on the left side. Bowie giving him room, so he gives it to Woodson. Just to the left of the circle. Looks inside. Grunwald takes it. Fakes and drives. Williams turns him back outside. Grunwald has checked his dribble. Tolbert comes out and takes it at the top of the key. He cross courts it to Thomas. Thomas puts down his dribble. Tries to get away from Anderson and can't. Brings it back out. Anderson stabs at the ball. Didn't get it. And Thomas fires it in. Anderson gambled, and when he lost, that left Isaiah Thomas open. Four to two. Quickly down to the other end. Anderson in trouble down there. Gets it out to Macy. Here's LeVon Williams going to Bowie. Bowie outside the lane. Out to Williams. Open for a 15-foot jumper. It is no good. Rebounded by Woodson. 4-2. Kentucky leads Indiana with the ball. Thomas with it. Tolbert at the top of the key with a 20-footer. Good. Ray Tolbert shooting over. Sam Bowie ties it up for all. Kyle Macy down court for the Wildcats. We've got a good one going over the line. Angles to the left side. Gets it to Freddie Cowan. Cowan tries to get it into Bowie. Knocked down. Anderson rescues it. Right side to LeVon Williams. He looks. Gives it out to Anderson. Anderson guarded by Woodson. Moves it down the right side. Bowie comes out in the backcourt and takes the pass. Throws it away. Picked off by Woodson. It's a two-on-two. Two. Woodson waits. Doesn't like the numbers. Gives it off to Thomas. Thomas dribbling outside. We've got a man on the deck, Grunwald, and Bowie has picked up his second foul. Sam might have been still smarting from throwing the ball away. Kentucky's picked up four. Two by Bowie, two by Cal. The score tied 4-4. As both teams have opened a little jittery, to be honest with you. Isaiah Thomas takes the inbounds pass. Anderson after him. Off on the left side. Jump shot by Woodson. Got it. And Indiana takes the lead for the first time. Six to four. And the crowd yells go as Anderson gets it over the line. Gives to Macy. Macy gives it back to Anderson. He drives it for the basket. Puts up a hook. It's good. Ties it up six all. Nice move by Dwight Anderson. The sophomore out of Dayton, Ohio. Thomas for Indiana's in offensive court. Anderson guarding him. Down the right side to Woodson. Pulls the trigger right corner. No good. Rebounded by LaVon Williams. Williams waits to Anderson to Macy. Macy up the right sideline. Goes over to balance the floor. Cuts it back to the sideline. Drives to the baseline. Whips it off to LaVon Williams. Dump. Beautiful assist from Kyle Macy. And Kentucky leads 8-6. to six. Thomas for Indiana. Works to the right side. Goes in there low, and ricochets out of bounds off of Kentucky, and it'll be Indiana's ball. Levon Williams steps into front. Ray Talbot, the man that passed with the he would left it. Butch Carter will put it in play. He's just come in for Indiana, and he gets it in to Whitman. Now we got Carter with it back. Off to Isaiah Thomas, going almost with three guards. Now they go inside to Tolbert. He turns with a shot that's in there with a count. Wet a whistle in there. Nine to eight, Kentucky on the attack. Macy, long pass to Freddie Cowan. An offensive court. He goes into Anderson. Hands it to Macy. Macy swings it out toward the top of the key. Into the lane. It's knocked out of his hands. And out of bounds. It'll be Kentucky's ball. Isaiah Thomas really crowded Macy on that one and did a great job on him. And was off to the races. We couldn't catch up to it before he goes out of bounds at midcourt. It'll be Kentucky's ball. Indiana really puts the defense on you. They play it tight and they play it all over the court. Up over the line comes Anderson. Checks, looks. Bowie on the high pivot. Anderson cuts by, doesn't get it. Bowie keeps it. He's waiting for somebody. Now he gets it off on a dribble, and Anderson takes it on the left side at long range. Kentucky a little disorganized right now. Macy with it. He's their playmaker. Guarded by Woodson. He checks. He's still, he's still checking. Goes to Cowan. They're not getting anything done. Cowan's in a switch in there. He waits. Gets it to Anderson. Anderson circling off to the left side. Now he moves on down the side. Reverses. Comes, tries to get a pick from Bowie. Gets picked up on a switch. Left corner to LeVon Williams. Gets it out to Anderson. Anderson gets it to LeVon Williams in the left corner. Back out to Anderson. They're really crowding Anderson, and that is uh, 
Isaiah Thomas hook shot by Anderson. In and out, no good. Tapped up, no good. But Anderson charged. And that's going to be his first and Kentucky's sixth. Coach Joe Hall immediately looks to his bench, and Dirk Whitman is the man that's bringing it down court, and LeVon Williams is taking him. Whitman gets it over the line. Kentucky playing some pretty good defense itself. Here is Woodson. Puts up a jump shot. It is no good. Bowie goes for it. Dropped it. Picked it up. Gets it out of there. And Menafield brings it over the line. Throws to Cowan. Turns with an eight-footer. It is no good. Battle for it. Bowie's got it. Puts it back up. No good. And it's rebounded by Tolbert, who kicks it out of bounds. And I think he pushed off anyway. Ray Tolbert picks up his first foul. Indiana's third. Pushing Bowie, the two freshmen. Bowie on the right side. Bounces in low to LeVon Williams. They knock it out of his hands. Bowie rescues it. Gives it to Macy. Breaks in. An eight-footer open. Missed the shot. LeVon Williams takes it. Tries to go back up with it, and he's fouled by Whitman. His first. Indiana's fourth. Now, let's see. Was he shooting? Dirk Menafield for Kentucky. Looking inbounds on the play. Hasn't found anybody yet. Gets it in to LeVon Williams in the right corner. Williams whips it outside to Macy. Macy bumped. Crowd wanted a call as Thomas crowded him into Cowan. His hook shot is blocked. He takes it, goes back up with it. It is no good, but he is. No, he's called for steps. And Coach Joe Hall has got smoke coming out of his ears on the call. It is rugged under those boards, and he is blistering Galvan as he comes back down the floor. Realizes he better back off. Coach Hall goes back to his seat, but Indiana's got the ball, and Butch Carter working it out in backcourt. Gives it off to Whitman. Whitman looking. LeVon Williams after him to Thomas. Inside to Tolbert. Tolbert pumps a fake. Doesn't take the shot. Woodson moves to the basket. Made the basket. I don't think it'll count. The whistle had already sounded. Freddie Cowan gets number three. He does. Freddie Cowan who has three fouls on him. All right. Woodson on the bonus shot. Fires. It's there. And Indiana has its biggest lead of the game on top by three. Kentucky's biggest lead has been four. It's been tied three times. Macy runs it over the line. Thomas chest shaking. He can't hold on and fouls him. That's his first. That's five against Indiana. Kentucky will take it out of bounds. Thomas got stuck with it. All right. Horde for Kentucky. Right side. Gives it into Macy in backcourt. Macy moves it down the sideline. Puts a move on his man. Can't get away. Gives off and takes it right back. Macy goes up from 15 feet. It is no good. Rebounded by Woodson. Macy a little off in his shooting tonight. It could be the tenacious defense they have on him. He's one out of three. Here is Thomas working it around the top of the keyhole for Indiana. Dirk Menafield with him defensively. The pass goes to Whitman. Whitman looks. He bounces off to Woodson. Knocked away from Woodson. He goes and gets it himself. Brings it back out of there. Gives to Whitman. A lot of hustle by Woodson there. Fine basketball player. All right, Whitman. Whitman. Left side to Tolbert. He hasn't been in the pivot all. He's listed to pivot man, but he's trying to keep Bowie out of there. He gives it off to Thomas. Thomas working on Menafield. These are two outstanding freshmen. Right side to Whitman. They go inside to Tolbert, and he's fouled. Oh, yeah. Horde really got him. His first, Kentucky's eight. Maybe Tolbert trying to make it four. It's up, and it is good. So Indiana has its biggest lead on top 12 to eight. Four-point advantage, and it's going to be Chuck Verderber checking in for Kentucky with 12 votes over the line. He's at the top of the key. Horde open, 15-footer right side. In and out, no good. Rebounded by Indiana. Pulled down by Woodson. He's 6'5", but gets up very well. Ford is trying to challenge this outstanding senior. Ford is just a freshman. Here's Thomas, right corner. Butch Carter bluffs the shot, doesn't take it out to Thomas. There's a looper inside. Tolbert goes up and gets it, brings it back down, passes off. They tried the old alley-oop and didn't work, so they, they still save it. Here's Thomas going, Tolbert wide open stuff. Somebody lost Ray Tolbert. He was all by himself, and Joe Hall is looking again to his bench. 14-8. to eight. That's the biggest lead either team has held, and Indiana's got it. Macy drives it. Gives it to LeVon Williams. Back to Macy in the left corner. Macy on the baseline. Fakes a shot. Gives it to LeVon Williams. He tries to get in there, and they take it away from him. Lose it out of bounds. Charles Hurt, still another freshman. Checks in for Kentucky. Replaces Derek Ord. Hurt, a 6'6 freshman from Shelbyville. Kentucky is in. Coach Hall is explaining something to uh, Ord. He'll probably be back shortly. He's pointing to the other end of the court. Here's Macy. He goes in, 10-footer, got it. Macy had been missing those shots, but he was dead center with that one. 14-10, Indiana on top of it with the ball. Whitman with it, Macy guarding him. They go inside again to Woodson. He missed 10, Indiana. Kentucky with the ball as Macy brings it down. Macy angles off to the left side, puts up an 18-footer, no good. Goes for the, his own rebound, gets a hand on it, out of bounds, and over to Indiana. But Macy 
now Ralph looks like he's beginning to try to do it all. He's becoming a little frustrated with with the frustration of his teammates. And he's, as you said, he's, he's decided if it's going to be done, he's going to have to do it. And it's, he's forcing a couple of shots. The one he made a minute ago, I felt, was forced. All right, it's a 1-3-1, but he hasn't gotten uh, a lot of good play from his teammates. So Indiana yeah. attacking the 1-3-1 zone now as Horde is back in. Here's Whitman looping at the left side to Woodson, out to Whitman. Whitman, good outside shooter to, shooter to Thomas. Breaks into the zone again. 18 to 10. Biggest lead of the ball game for either club. And Kentucky's got its work cut out for it. Macy almost loses the ball out of bounds. He's off balance. He throws it away. Indiana's got a run out. Isaiah Thomas scores under, lays it in. And it's 20 to 10 as Indiana now beginning to blast it open. And Kentucky's inexperience showing. Dirk Metafield brings it down this time. Indiana's pushing defense, bothering them. They go low, and Derek Horde puts it in. 20 to 12. Indiana on top. Kentucky back in the 1-3-1. Macy out on the point. Thomas. Long looper on the baseline to Tolbert. Outside to Whitman to Thomas. Right corner to Woodson. Fires. Good. Mike Woodson. Great shooter from that corner. It's 22 to 12 as Indiana maintains its 10-point lead. Kentucky led early in the game by four. It's been tied three times. But right now, Indiana's dominating it. Dirk Minifield. Right side to Verderber. Verderber. Looking inside. Puts down a dribble. Throws a bad pass. It's picked off. Threw it all the way across court. And that is a normally a freshman mistake, but that was made by a sophomore. Looped it all the way across court. Here's a floater across court, but outside. Butch Carter's got it for Indiana. Gives it to Thomas. Thomas attacking the 1-3-1. Over to Whitman. Whitman down in the right corner to Woodson. Outside it comes to Thomas. Thomas it penetrates his own. Whitman fires. It is no good. Rebounded by Macy. Macy gives to Dirk Metafield. Metafield pulls up. Goes up for a 12-footer. It is no good. And a battle for the rebound, and who's it against? LeVon. I believe LeVon Williams. That is his third. So Kentucky is in deep. Rolls in good again. Kentucky has not had a free throw. 24 to 12. Biggest lead of the ball game. Indiana owns it. Macy drives. Thomas bumping him. No call. Here is Charles Hurt with it on the left side. He gets it out to Minifield. Minifield gives it back to Hurt in the left corner. Looks under. Goes with it with a jump shot. No good. No rebounding in there. Pulled off by Woodson for Indiana. Kentucky back to a man-to-man. -man. They've abandoned the zone. Here is uh, Thomas. Left side, it goes to Carter. Bouncing in there low to Woodson. Turnaround jumper. No good. Tapped up by Tolbert. No good. Boy goes up and gets this one. Gives it to Macy. Macy brings it over the line. Checks. Gives to Menafield. Long range on the left side. Menafield makes his move on Woodson. Goes into the left corner. They're trying to run a switch on him in there. A trap. He gets it to Hurt on the left side. Hurt puts down a dribble. They're not guarding him, and he almost throws it away, and that's going to be all. the caps. Here's Kaywood Lefford. Macy and Scheidler. Pass comes into Bowie. Bowie's out in backcourt with it. Scheidler comes out and relieves him of the basketball. He's guarded by Woodson. Scheidler starts off to the right, gives it cross court to Macy. Macy down the left side to Hurt, out to Scheidler. Scheidler checks, goes on the dribble, gives it off to Macy. Macy spins in, goes up from 12 feet, and no good. Rebounded by Thomas. Boy, and I tell you, Thomas is reaching and grabbing at Macy a lot, and he's bothering Macy defensively, doing a good job. WHAS Louisville. Von Scheidler he whips him, moves in, lays it up, no good. Yeah. Hurt again. No good. Rebounded by Derek Horde. He fakes, goes to the basket, puts a neat footer up, no good. Tapped up, no good. Tapped up by Bowie, no good. Rebounded by Indiana. Tober pulls it off and gives it to Whitman. Whitman to Thomas. Kentucky can't put the in close rebound shots back in. Thomas, top of the key. Gives to Woodson. Woodson working on Horde. And we've got a man on the deck, and it's Thomas. He and Bowie ran together, and this time it's Thomas who picks up his third. First Indiana player to get in trouble. 7.28 remaining in the front end of the rim. 24-14, Indiana by 10. Sam Bowie at the line for Kentucky. Bonus shot on its way. It's there. 24-15, Indiana by 9 and with the ball. Gets back to Whitman. Scheidler goes to get him. Carter takes it back, brings it over the timeline, angles off to the left side, checks, looks, bounces off to Whitman. Whitman at the top of the key, playing a guard now. He plays a lot of forward. Left side to Tolbert, who's back out of that pivot now, and inside, away from the ball, we get a whistle, and I think it's on Horde. Coach Hall, six on the line, has 10 points. 26-15, Indiana by 11, Kentucky with the ball is Macy. Works it around the top of the key, gives it to Scheidler. Back toward with him. He looks under, goes to Anderson, who's back in the game. Laying a forward now. Back to Scheidler, 25-footer. 
No good off the left side. Rebounded by Tolbert. He had great position. Blocking Kentucky's rebounders out and pulls it down. Whitman hands it to Carter. Macy guarding him. Carter gets it over the line. Angles left. Checks. Gives it off to Whitman. Scheidler really tracking him. Carter drives it toward the left corner. Looks inside. Tolbert an eight-footer. No good. Rebounded and put back up by Woodson. Good. Kentucky flat put it on the boards. Indiana pulls out to a 28-15 lead. The biggest of the ball game. 13 points. Indiana's tenacious man-to-man -man defense bothering the Cats right now. They can't seem to get organized. There's a bad pass. They want a bad pass. Nobody expected it. Verderber saves it. Gives it back to Macy. Macy has it blocked. Scheidler saves it. Rolls right with an 18-footer good. 28-17. Indiana. 6.03 left in the half. Carter over the line for the Hoosiers. Holds up halfway down on the right side. And the Kentucky's going to have to really... Find it somewhere. Good new battle plan. Good again. Of course, Kentucky's field goal shooting has been a very poor. They have hit the boards well, played pretty good defense. 28-19. 18 as Kentucky's down by 11. The pass is to Dwight Anderson. Anderson slides into the right corner, out to Scheidler. Verderber comes out in the backcourt, takes it. Bowie, who's out of the pivot on the left side. Anderson, wide open for an 18-footer. Hit it, but we already had a whistle. And I think it's on Carter. Good hard, bouncing off of there. Battle for it. And Butch Carter comes off the board with it for Indiana. Whitman brings it down. Scheidler after him defensively. He puts a move on him. Can't get away. Off on the left side to Woodson. Tolbert posts up inside. But Wood, uh, Carter breaks in. Almost walks. Gets it back out of there. Woodson with it. Woodson trying to get through. Knocked out of his hands. Picked up by Tolbert on the left side. He moves to the baseline on the dribble. Bowie cuts him off. He whips it outside to Whitman. Here's Tolbert going for the basket with a hook shot. Good. Nice move by Ray Tolbert. He's got 10 points, and it's 32 to 20. Indiana, Scheidler, offensive court for the Cats. Butch Carter after him defensively. Scheidler angles off to the left, gives to Verderber. Verderber moves in, looks inside, throws it away. Waited too long. That's five turnovers for Kentucky. He didn't give it to Anderson as he went by, and he's going to probably come out of the ball game. He here is Minifield after Butch Carter. Carter checks, looks low, goes in the right corner to Whitman. Tolbert cuts in, doesn't get it, outside to Carter. Carter, right corner, Whitman pulls the trigger. It is bouncing off and rebounded by Verderber. Gets it to Menafield, up to Anderson. Anderson swings by, one man drives under, lays it in, and he's fouled by Tolbert. Anderson jumps up and dunks the basketball, and Tolbert was hanging onto his arm. Beautiful move by Dwight Anderson. It was foul number two on Ray Tolbert. And for one shot, Dwight Anderson is at the line. Anderson's first trip to the stripe. Forward last year. Kentucky's going with three forwards. Or really three guards and two forwards. No setter. Anderson's free throw. Good. 32-23. Indiana by nine points. Kentucky picking up all over the court. Landon Turner, a big 6'10 sophomore from Indiana. But uh, they're also playing in the teeth of a very good Indiana defense. Woodson bringing it down. He's a forward, but he's very agile. And Dwight Anderson is tracking him every step. Now they run and jump with Woodson, an old head, but it's intercepted by Charles Hurt. Hurt goes under, stuff. 32-25. Beautiful steal by Charles Hurt. 4-14 to go. Grisley. Intercepted by Minifield to Anderson. Back to Minifield. Back out to Anderson. So Kentucky intercepts the inbounds play. Right side to Charles Hurt. Minifield posting up. A guard. Hurt goes for the basket. Puts it up and in. 32 to 27. And Four Charles Hurt. Back to back basket. Indiana leading and with the ball. The place going wild. Whitman with it. Whitman checks. Left side, bounces to Woodson. Woodson, back and forth. Outside it comes. To James Thomas is in there now. Driving is Turner. Turner, James Thomas. And we get a whistle inside. And it's going to be against Steve Risley of Indiana, holding inside. So Kentucky will be at the free throw line with three and a half minutes to go, and Bobby Knight is angry with that call. 
Listen to this crowd, 23,000 strong on their feet. Out of here in Lexington. Fires it. Got it. 32 to 28. Indiana's lead, which was at 13, is now at four as Kentucky's made a run. This one. No good. Off it comes. Charles Hurt pulls it off the board. And then throws it away. Made a great rebound, and instead of putting it back up, he tried to lob it out and he telegraphed his pass. And boy, Indiana will really pick them off when you do it. They can smell that ball coming. There's bumping in there, and Minifield called for overguarding. Up and good again. And Indiana lengthens it out to six points, 34 to 28, after Kentucky had cut it to four. Jay Scheidler, offensive court for the Cats, breaks it into the top of the key, puts some moves on, can't get away. Horde takes it. Horde moves it to, to the baseline. And as he tries to go to the basket, holding him is Eisenbarger. 34-29, Indiana on top. Derek Horde for Kentucky. Fires the free throw. It's good. 34-30. Kentucky picking up all over the floor. Eisenberger gives it into Carter. Carter working down court with Minifield after him. Gets it over the midcourt line. Minifield still after him. Carter back and forth checks his dribble. Looks. Still looking. Still looking. Still looking. Jump ball! Great defense by Dirk Minifield just would not get away from it. Carter, who is 6'5", will be two inches taller as they jump at the midcourt circle. Ray Tolbert will re-enter the lineup for Indiana. Comes in for Phil Eisenbarger. 2.52 left in the half. Indiana leading 34-30. Here comes the jump ball. Minifield and Carter. The toss and the tap. Indiana's got it. Coming up with it is Whitman. Scheidler guarding him. Whitman puts some moves on him. Can't get away. Gives it to Carter. Carter checks. Goes to Whitman. Backboard with him. Whitman back to Carter. Off on the right side it goes to Turner. Turner drives to the baseline. Spins with a 10-footer. It is no good. Rebounded by Horde. Off to Anderson. Anderson running it. Over to the middle of the floor. Still moving. Goes for the basket. Puts up a six-footer. In and out. No good. Rebounded by Indiana. Great move by Anderson, but he couldn't cash it in. Made a beautiful move. Indiana's got it. 2.15 left in the half. Whitman an offensive court for the Hoosiers. Still on the dribble. Spins. Can't get through there. Looks and looks. Still looking. Coming out to take it. Ford is on the deck. Gets up as Woodson is out in backcourt with it. He's working on Anderson one off for the Caps. Pulls up top of the key. Goes again. Scheidler wide open. Right corner fires. Good. 35-32. Indiana's lead down to three with a minute 45 left in the first half. Here's a double team. They bounce it to Carter. Carter's got daylight. Moves in. Right corner to Woodson. Woodson comes in. 12-footer. No good. Woodson takes a tap out. Fires it in there. Kentucky went to sleep on that rebound. 37-32. Indiana back by five. Benefield down over the timeline. Driving. Here is Hurt open in the right corner, but he's a little out of his range. So he brings it out into backcourt. And gives to Minifield. Dirk Minifield gives to Derek Horde on the right side. Horde going for the basket. Puts up a hook shot. Bad shot. No good. Rebounded by Indiana. Whitman came here. They took a very bad shot there. Whitman brings it down. Passes to Carter. Carter works toward the left corner. Still on the dribble. Out to Whitman. And away from the ball again. We get a whistle. And this one's going to be against Landon Turner of Indiana. His first. So they'll go to the other end, and now Bobby Knight is pacing the sideline. And Art, but no, I don't think broadcasting gets you quite as involved because both he and Joe Hall have been really, really after the official strike. Kyle Mason's one and one. It's good. For Derber coming in for Charles Hurt for Kentucky. Well, Kentucky looked like they were going to be run out of the gym midway through the first half, but they're back in the battle now. Dwight Anderson on the stripe for the Caps. The sophomore out of Dayton fires. Good. 37-34. Indiana with three-point lead. Comes into Carter. Bases guarding him. Kentucky picking him up all over the floor, something Kentucky does not normally do. Carter's got the step, got Macy beat. Scheidler turns him. Whitman back out to Carter. Macy's back with him defensively now. Carter. Oh, drive trying to work on Macy. Can't get away this time. Brings it back out and gives to Whitman. Left corner to Woodson. 
Anderson after him. Woodson driving the baseline. He has missed in seven tries. Eight for eight now. He's got 16 points. 39-34. Indiana by five as Macy brings it over the line. Works around outside. Goes to Hoard, who's playing a high pivot. He checks, looks for somebody, gets it out to Macy. Macy into the top of the key. Scheidler open off the right side, 20-footer. Good. 39-36. Indiana by three. 14 seconds to go, and the Hoosiers pick up the tempo. Want to get that last shot away. Then the one they want. Carter almost walks. Gets it off to Woodson. Woodson looking inside. Comes out to Tolbert. Back to Woodson. Woodson driving toward the corner, and we get a whistle as there's bumping in there, and Woodson is called for charging his second foul, and with one second to go in the half, Kentucky will be shooting at the other end. Player control foul, wasn't it? Yes, I think that's what they're calling, player control. Right, one second to go. So it'll just be a lob in, and Macy probably will just throw it for the basket. Here's Bowie. He's got it. He turns with a shot. It was not in time. Missed anyway. And the first half is over. It is Indiana 39, Kentucky 36. This is the University of Kentucky Basketball Network. But Bowie laid off a little bit. Quite a quicker pace than we had here Saturday night between Baylor and Kentucky. So the two centers have two baskets apiece and that's where we stand. Macy trying to get on the books now and he does. First two for Kyle Macy who had a great game on Saturday night here against the Baylor Bears. Ten turnovers for Indiana. Bobby Knight lecturing his ball club now as they made a couple of mistakes. Kyle Macy brings it over the timeline. Works to the left side. High pivot to Bowie. Bowie weaves it around. Can't find anybody. Scheidler takes it on the left side. He moves back and forth. Top of the keyhole. Backs out of there with it. Gives to Macy on the right side. Broken up. Now to bounds. Touch last by Macy. A bad pass by Scheidler. Very obvious pass. And Indiana will go and get those. That's nine turnovers for Kentucky. Coach Hall just looked disgusted at Scheidler and sat back down. Jay a little disgusted with himself. All right, Indiana with it. Right side, it goes to Whitman. Whitman brings it out to the top of the keyhole and checks his dribble. Right side to Thomas. Thomas. Back outside, it comes to Carter. Carter looking. Back on the right side to Thomas. Thomas breaking into the lane with it. Puts an eight-footer up. No good. Scheidler pulls it off. Runs it down the left side. Scheidler still moving with it. Checks, bounces in low, trying to go to Cowan. It's knocked out of bounds by Indiana. Good defense. Kentucky's ball from its own end zone. Scheidler will put it in play. Scheidler for Kentucky. Comes into Macy on the left side. Macy wants to go to Bowie. Can't. Comes outside to Cowan. He tries an 18-footer. No good. Bowie taps it up. No good. Knocked out of bounds by Indiana. Kentucky's ball. Coach Hall trying to get the signal in. The play, inbounds play he wants. Macy catches it and calls number three. All right. Scheidler again from his own end zone for the Wildcats. Comes in to LeVon Williams. He looks back out for Macy. Can't find him, so Macy goes down. Doesn't get it. LeVon Williams looking. Bowie comes out and gets it. Gives to Scheidler. Scheidler puts down the dribble and comes way outside. Still dribbling. Now he breaks in toward the lane. Gives it off to LeVon Williams. He's in close with a turnaround jumper. It is good. 40-39 as Kentucky goes one point ahead. Indiana with it. Whitman. Left side to Tolbert. Left corner to Thomas. Charging. Jay Scheidler cut him off, and Isaiah Thomas picks up his fourth foul. And Indiana wants a timeout. Left corner, he throws it away, trying to go to Scheidler. Whitman picks it off for Indiana. Kentucky had a definite play. It wanted to run, but Bowie threw a bad pass and comes down and commits a foul at the other end. He was pushing away from the ball, and that will be Bowie's third. First on Kentucky this half. Indiana will take it out of bounds. Two of the last. Woodson looks, still looking, comes to Tolbert on the right side. He looks low, puts down the dribble, comes out in the backcourt, gives to Thomas on the right side, cutting through his Woodson, takes it in close, puts it up, no good. Cowan comes off with it. Good defense by Bowie. Scheidler down the left sideline. Indiana is back. 
Scheidler cross courts at a bad pass. It's deflected out of bounds. But Jay Scheidler is throwing careless passes and is drawing a rebuke from the Kentucky bench. It'll be Kentucky's ball, right side, offensive court. Scheidler has it. Comes into Macy. Cowan was not looking at him. That's who he wanted to throw it to. Macy breaks in, puts up an eight footer. No good. And inside, I believe Macy. Yes, Kyle Macy pushing off in there. His second. And Scheidler with him defensively. Thomas at the top of the keyhole, still dribbling, back and forth. Circles left, gives to Woodson. Woodson wanted to fire, gives it back out to Thomas. Here is Eisenbarger with it. Eisenbarger going to Tolbert. Tolbert moves to the baseline. He got him hemmed in in there. He puts it up. Boy, blocks it. And put back up, no good. And what, we got a foul in there, and I believe it's going to be on LeVon Williams. Kentucky played great defense, but trying to go for the loose ball. LeVon Williams picks up his fourth foul. One more. Chance to tie it. Thomas pulls the trigger. No good. And a foul on the rebound on Tolbert. His third. He came up over Freddie Cowan. That's Indiana's second foul. It's half. Kentucky will take it out of bounds. 40-39. Kentucky still with the lead. As both teams very cold right now, just the way they started the game. Kyle Macy down it with the 10-second line. Angles left, gives to Horde. Macy takes it back. But... What do they got? Double dribble, I think. No, Kyle stepped on the ba on the sideline as he uh, touched the basketball the second time. I don't think he expected to get that ball back, but it's number 11 in the turnover department for Kentucky, and the Cats are passing up a lot of shots. They are just not playing well right now. Indiana. Indiana working. Here is Thomas into the circle, gives it off to Tolbert. Tolbert gives it to Woodson. Woodson brings it out, gives it back to Thomas. Indiana running his passing game inside as Thomas angles right and gives to Eisenbarger. Looking low, can't find anybody. Back out to Thomas. Left side to Woodson, goes into the corner, wants to fire camp. Outside to Thomas by way of Tolbert. Thomas has got it. Crowd likes Kentucky's defense at the moment. Thomas working down the right side. Top of the key to Eisenbarger. Left side to Woodson who fires. No good. Rebounded by Bowie. Off to Macy for Kentucky. Macy down the right side. Long pass to Freddie Cowan. Looks inside, back out to Macy, to Scheidler, top of the key. Boy, who's out of the pivot. Back out to Scheidler. Macy. Macy breaks into the circle. Pumps goes up from 15. Good. 42-39. Kentucky by three. Indiana has now missed five in a row as they come down for the sixth trip. There's Thomas. Left corner. Eisenbarger drives the baseline. Back out to Thomas. Cross courts it to Woodson. Woodson fakes the shot. Can't get it. Eisenbarger outside to Thomas. Thomas bends and goes, and Scheidler's holding him. Jay Scheidler picks up his first. That's Kentucky's fourth. IU will take it out of bounds. Dwight Anderson checking into the ballgame for Kentucky, replacing Kyle Macy. Comes in back to Eisenbarger from Thomas. With the ball is Eisenbarger. Working around out in backcourt. Grunwald is back there, but they give the Tolbert inside to Thomas. Good move on Anderson. 42-41. Kentucky's lead at one point as Butch Carter checks into the lineup. For Jay Scheidler is the man bringing it down now that Macy's on the bench. He's a point guard out by himself. Angles left. Looks at Horde. Goes to Bowie on the high post. Gives to Cowan inside with a hook. No good. But on the shot, I think Cowan was fouled. Butch Carter got him. That's his second, Indiana's third, but free throw to make it 43-41, Kentucky. Trying to add another point to the Kentucky lead. Clock arrested with 15.02 to go as Freddie Cowan dribbles, sets up and fires, rolls off, no good, rebound to Indiana. Woodson coming down with it for the Hoosiers, brings it out on the dribble himself. Cowan waits for him. Woodson checks his dribble and backcourt offensive court. Hands it off to Carter. Carter has not dribbled. Horde is with him in the right corner to Isaiah Thomas. He bluffs a couple of moves. Anderson with him defensively. Thomas checks. He looks low. Comes outside to Carter. Carter moving it to the top of the key. Holds up. Looks inside at Tolbert. Boo is with him. Eisenbarger takes it at long range on the left side. Eisenbarger with Scheidler on him. A mismatch in size. Here's Tolbert. Turnaround jumper. Good. Ray Tolbert makes it 43 all as we've got a tie game, Kentucky with the ball. 
Dwight Anderson's a man working, and Woodson's taking him. Anderson, wanting to get something done, throws a bad pass, but rescues it from Cowan. Now Anderson moving around outside, putting some moves. He's picked up on a switch. He got away from Woodson. Ford comes out and takes it, and right on, leaning on him is Eisenbarger, his second. That's four on Indiana. Kentucky will take it out of bounds. 43-43, score tied. 13-59 to go in the game. Number one ranked Indiana facing number five ranked Kentucky. Freddie Cowan will put it in play for the Cats. Comes into Dwight Anderson at long range. Gives it to Scheidler and backboard with him. Scheidler goes to Bowie on a high pivot. Bowie looking back underneath. Can't find anybody. Now he says somebody come out and get it. And Indiana takes it away from Bowie. Running it out of there is Thomas. Behind the back dribble. 15-footer. Good. And IU goes ahead 45-43. As they searched Bowie and came up with it. And Scheidler is drawing a lecture from Coach Hall. I don't think they wanted maybe it in there. Don't know. Here's Anderson. Cowan on the right side. Back to Anderson. Anderson working out at long range. As Kentucky is having a lot of trouble running its patterns. And Coach Hall said they would. Here's Cowan. He's open at 12 feet. Got it. 45 all. Score tied. 13-15 to go. Eisenbarger in backcourt for the ball. Woodson calling for it inside. Doesn't get it. Back out to Eisenbarger from Thomas. Eisenbarger going inside to Tolbert. He pumps. Goes up. Got it. He made, did a good move on Bowie. Much taller and laid it in. 47-45, Indiana. Indiana with the lead. Kentucky with the ball. Scheidler going to Anderson. Anderson moving around, looking for a, a pick. Can't get it. He's already dribbled. Scheidler breaks out deep and takes the pass. Scheidler bluffs the move. Now goes on the dribble with it. Now he races off to the left side. Goes into the corner and fires under pressure. Got it. 47 all. Scheidler has hit five out of six. Has 11 points, and Scheidler went for the ball, didn't get it. Eisenberger, right corner, jump shot, no good. And here's a loose ball. Bowie picks it up for Kentucky, gives it to Anderson. Anderson running it down the middle. Still moving with it. Still moving with it. Can't get through. Gives it to Bowie, takes it back. So Kentucky tries to set it up. Scheidler, long one right side, no good. Rebounded by Indiana. He was wide open that time. Didn't even come close with it. It was short. And Jay might be a little tired. He took a pretty good fall last time. But boy, he's really been bombing him. Here's Eisenbarger. Scheidler guarding him. He's got Bowie on the deck. They go inside the woods and he puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Cowan. Out to Scheidler. Scheidler, medium speed. Gives to Anderson. Anderson puts a move. Goes in there. He's in heavy traffic. Looks for help. Throws it away. But it's lost out of bounds by Tolbert who almost picked it off. And Kyle Macy is checking in for Jay Scheidler. I think, I think Jay is tired. Played a great game. Oh, he did. I thought he had really hurt himself when he came spinning out of bounds just in front of us. He slammed very hard into the floor, then over into the press table. We've got a timeout in both benches making some changes. A lineup. Uh, LeVon Williams with four fouls on him is back in. He's got it. Here's Anderson. Bluffs a shot at the top of the key. Carter picks him up, so Anderson swings around, waits, and gives to Macy. Macy guarded by Isaiah Thomas. We've got Charles Hurt in there. Macy runs by two screens, goes to the baseline with a jump shot under great pressure. No good. Tapped in. LaVon Williams follows it up, 49-47. Kentucky by two. You want me? Indiana with the ball. Here it's dribbling the ball is Butch Carter. Macy with him defensively. Eisenbarger playing outside, and Verderber's with him defensively now. Puts a move on him. Back and forth. Eisenbarger off on the left side to Tolbert. Tolbert going in there low to Turner. Back out to Tolbert, outside to Eisenbarger. Eisenbarger moves down the left sideline to the corner. He checks. Carter outside straight away. Carter on the left side to Thomas. Thomas driving to the baseline. Puts it up in there. No good. Rebounded by LeVon Williams. He gets it off to Dwight Anderson. Anderson bringing it down the left sideline. 10.46 left in the game. Verderber on the right side. Drives the baseline. Can't get through. Out to Anderson. Bluffs the shot. To LeVon Williams. is wide open. He didn't take his shot. Macy's going to try a 20-footer left side. No good. And it's rebounded by Eisenbarger for Indiana. Macy was open, and he normally drills those, but he's off his, off his aim a little bit tonight. All right, Tolbert, top of the key. LeVon Williams guarding him. Comes out and hands the ball to Butch Carter. Carter, off in the right corner to Eisenbarger, going right inside to Turner. Turner turns around, no good. Batted up, no good. Tolbert's got it, swings and puts it in. Great efforts by Tolbert. And Kentucky very flat-footed on rebounding there. 49 all, score tied. Sam Bowie being given a rest. Here's Macy swinging to the left side. All the way into the left baseline corner. 
Gives back out to Hurt on the left side. Out in the backcourt, it comes to Anderson, who walks laterally to his right. He doesn't. Macy comes out and gets it. Macy. Kentucky setting a little stack inside as Macy swings for the basket. Underhanded shot, rolls off. Hurt puts it up once, twice, no good. Third time, good. That may have been Verderber. Let's wait and see. Both of them hit it. Williams, they give LeVon, it to. Right? LeVon Williams got it. They were all really scratching on those boards. 51-49, Kentucky leading Indiana. Right corner, Thomas pulls a trigger beauty. Isaiah Thomas putting on quite a show. 51 all, score tied. Anderson down quickly, but Indiana set defensively, and Anderson checks and goes to Verderber on the right side. He moves, gives it back out to Anderson, cross court to Macy. Macy moves into the lane. He's got a good screen at 10, missed it. Fights for his own rebound, but Indiana gets it. Verderber's on the deck. Long pass. Turner lays it in. Kentucky went to sleep on that one. Kyle Macy is only 3 out of 12, and this is a man who came into the game hitting 58-9. 53-51 is Indiana's reclaimed the lead. And Kentucky was really just dozed off on that run out. All right, Macy looking for help. Anderson comes out and takes it. Gives to Williams, who's in backcourt, and back to Anderson. Kentucky doing some interchanging now. Trying to open it up for the one-on-one. -on -one. Here goes Anderson in. Stops with a six-footer. In and out. No good. Rebounded by Turner. So Indiana's got it going the other way. Carter. Thomas. Thomas breaking into the lane. Knocked away from him by Anderson, but Anderson fouled him. Now there was a that'll draw an argument for Coach Hall because there were two officials looking right in there and the fellow back under the basket was ball out of bounds. It comes into Carter. Eisenbarger. Here's Tolbert driving in there. Here's Thomas out of the left corner. No good. Rebounded by Dwight Anderson for Kentucky. Bringing it down the middle. Anderson gives off to Macy. Macy moving into the lane. Puts up a little jumper. Good. 53 all. Score tied. Nine times we've had a tie. Indiana with the ball now. Carter with it in backcourt. Macy guarding him. Eisenbarger on the right side. Halfway to the corner. Comes out toward the top of the key on the dribble. Backs up. Checks. Tolbert breaks into the lane. In there a long time. Hooks. No good. Walking. 11 turnovers for Indiana. Three. Score tied. Kyle Macy down court for the Caps. Angles left in offensive court, reverses. Comes back to the top of the key, Thomas on him tight. They can't draw that fifth foul. Here's a 15-footer by Macy, good. 55-53, and that's the first time Kentucky's really tried to maybe draw the foul on Thomas. Thomas has got the ball right now, Minifield guarding him. Thomas down the right side, bouncing in there low to Risley. Risley back out to Thomas. Thomas works it back out longer, reverses. Now he shifts and goes. He breaks clear, and Minifield's only one out of 26. As a team, they've been very accurate at that free throw line. 7-18 to go. Thomas puts it up, bouncing off of there. Freddie Cowan takes the rebound, gives to Minifield. Minifield runs it down the right side. He's by Thomas in to hurt. Good. Great assist by Minifield. Beautiful assist by Dirk Minifield, 57-53. That equals Kentucky's biggest lead of the game. Is the biggest of the second half. Indiana with it. Thomas. Thomas gives it back to Carter. Carter left of the circle. Here's Woodson driving to the baseline with a jump shot. No good. Rebounded by LeVon Williams. Bounces out to Metafield. Metafield down the right side. Pulls up into the circle. And he's fouled from behind. And that's all for Isaiah Thomas. WHAS Louisville. Metafield perhaps made Isaiah Thomas a bit exasperated because he just ran by him. All right, 6.43 to go. We got a timeout. It's Kentucky 57, Indiana 53. We're halfway down on the left side, offensive court. He looks, his Kentucky fans out, right into Hurt, who just hands it back to Macy, and Kentucky now tries to go into its pattern. Macy swings it off to the right side, down the right side to Cowan, back to Macy. Top of the key to Hurt. Hurt fakes to Macy, checks. Now to Macy. Macy at long range, trying to go one-on-one, -on -one. goes in there low to Williams, back out to Macy. 18-footer is no good. Rebounded by Tolbert. And here's Carter on a run out. Macy hurries that back. Carter pulls up 10-footer. No good. And rebounded by LeVon Williams. Macy saved that one after he'd missed at the other end. Macy brings it over the 10-second line for Kentucky. Doesn't penetrate. Gives to Menafield. Menafield gives it off to Charles Hurt to Macy swinging by. Macy halfway to the corner. Gives to Cowan, top of the key. Cowan going inside to LeVon Williams. And he's on the baseline with a very short shot. What do we got? Yeah. From his own end zone. Comes into LeVon Williams in the corner. Outside to Minifield. 
Middlefield swings it right, goes inside to LeVon Williams. He puts it in. Beautiful pass for Middlefield, 59-53. That's Kentucky's biggest lead of the game. What's the call? And there was a foul also. I was looking around. But I thought it was, uh, it was a, Oh, they say uh, now nah, that could that could be. I didn't think uh, Williams right. grabbed the rim, but they say Cowan grabbed the rim, and he might have on a rebound attempt. Williams got it. <laughs> Williams had only two points the first half. He's come back with nine here in the second half. Kentucky has a seven-point lead, 60 to 73. 49 to go. Woodson fires. No good. Indiana will have the ball at midcourt. Go ahead. Indiana is two of seven from the free field line of this half. They were 19 of 21 of the first half. All right. It comes into Tolbert. Tolbert brings it over the line himself on the dribble. Now he waits, looks, goes to Grunwald. Grunwald hands it off to James Thomas. He swings right out to Eisenbarger. Eisenbarger gives to Tolbert on the right side. He gives back out to Eisenbarger. Eisenbarger, a big guy, 6'8", guarded by... They go, whoa, walking on Grunwald. Eisenberger 6'8". They're playing him as a guard. Basie is guarding him. But uh, Grunwald walks with the ball. Kentucky gets it side back court. Indiana turns it over for the 12th time. 5'27 to go. Basie over the line for Kentucky. Left side to Charles Hurt. Back to Macy. Driving the baseline. Throws it back out to Hurt as he was off balance. Good play by Macy there. Menafield takes it. Long range. He moves it left side. Heads toward the corner. Indiana really helped, helping out defensively. They got him double teamed. Gives to LeVon Williams. He almost walks with the ball. Now he's looking for help. Menafield comes over, releasing. Menafield gives to Macy. It's blocked out of bounds. Kentucky's ball. 5-0-4. Comes into Macy. Macy has not put down his dribble. Now he goes in there, bounces back out to Macy. Right side to Menafield. He's going to try a 20-footer. Got it. 62-53. That's Kentucky's biggest lead. Eisenberger for Indiana. Check. Goes to Grunwald. Here's James Thomas. Colbert inside to Woodson. Hooks. No good. Rebounded by Freddie Cowan. Cowan up to Charles Hurt. Bad pass. Out of bounds. Indiana's ball. Cowan threw a bad pass and Hurt couldn't catch up to it. Overled him. 436. They don't want that kind of a turnover as they're trying to. This one. Eisenbarger brings it up over the timeline. Macy picking him up. Eisenbarger checks. Right corner to Grunwald. Eisenbarger breaks in close, hooks it, no good. Cowan pulls it off, gives it to Minifield. Minifield loses the ball. Picks it deep and is dropped by Woodson. Minifield got it back. Breaks for the basket, throws a bad pass, travels. So Minifield made about eight mistakes. He need to settle down just a little bit, K. Wood, because it's been to the great part, the effort of Dirk Minifield at Kentucky's grab this lead of nine. But boy, he really uh, just kept turning it over that time. And Kentucky now has been down two straight trips and not killing any time either. Here's James Thomas for Indiana. Checks and looks low. Still looking, still looking, still looking. Got it out to Tobert. Woodson in backcourt with it. Woodson driving to the baseline. Along the baseline, passes off to James Thomas. He passes to Tolbert. He breaks in with a six-footer. That is no good. Put back up. Oh, tapped in by Tolbert. I don't think they'll count it. No good. And Bobby Knight is livid. Goal tending would be the call. Offensive goal, goal tending. I have never seen. Points for him as Macy crosses the timeline. Angles left. Reverses. Go in. 340 to go. Macy down the left side to penetrate. And now he's checked his dribble and looking for help. LeVon Williams comes into backcourt. Now hands it back to Macy. Macy moves down the sideline, goes to Menafield. Menafield swings it off to the right side toward the corner. Checks, wants to go inside, throws a bad pass, and it's knocked out of bounds by Tolbert. And Menafield is really having problems right now. He, he, he really sparked the team when he came in, but Dirk, a freshman, and he's jittery. Looks like the Kansas game replay here for the last couple of minutes. Uh, he's, uh, he's making some bad plays. Comes into Derek Hoard, and Hoard's going to dribble it over the line with Eisenbarger after him. Gets double team, checks. Gives it to Dirk Menafield at long range. Menafield gives off to Cowan. Knocked out of bounds. Landon Turner. Kentucky is playing, is handling the ball very sloppily. And Coach Hall says go to the passing game. Yeah, I think he does. Macy takes it back. Of course, Kentucky, that they want the clock to feel like the clock is on their side. Macy's already checked his dribble. Coming out, Derek Ford takes it. Ford looking with it moves down the left side on the dribble 
Now he wants to go to somebody. Goes to Menafield. Open at six feet. Missed the shot. Tapped up. No good. Derek Horde goes back up. No good. But he's fouled. Derek Horde went to war there. But nine. Derek Ford's first one is short, but it rolls in. You could tell when it left his hand it was short, but it turned over once and into the net. 63-53, Kentucky's biggest lead. Derek Ford tries to add one more to that. Pulls the trigger. Got it. 64-53. The Cats by 11. Indiana with the ball. Two minutes, 47 seconds to go. Eisenberger for the Hoosiers. Colbert, left side to Woodson. Breaks toward the lane. Spinning 10-footer. Bounces off. No good. Rebounded by Minifield. He starts to run out and then changes his mind. And he wants to take his time. He's being chased by two people as he gets it over the timeline. And Kyle Macy. As, as Ralph told you, Kentucky's gone with three guards. Anderson, Minifield, and Macy comes into Anderson. So Kentucky will try to sit on it. Anderson. Dribbling off to the right side, moves it down the right side toward the corner, comes back out, goes to LeVon Williams. LeVon Williams gives to Dirk Minifield, who's out there, and out there after him is Tony Brown, who's into the game in place of Woodson for defensive purposes. Minifield penetrates, makes a move. Macy takes it outside. Macy makes his move down the left side, goes toward the basket. He's cut off on a switch, comes back out to Minifield with a pass. 2.07 to go as Minifield off to the right side on a circle pattern, gives out to Anderson. Anderson with Eisenberger after him, puts down his dribble. Circles off to the left side. Gets by him. Almost went for the basket, but decides to come back out. Instructions note out from the bench. Gives to Macy on the left side. Macy out in the backcourt. A minute 50 to go. Macy back down the left side. Goes for the basket. He's in there. He's got it. And he charged. Basket counts. The basket will count, but Macy did charge. That's his third. We'd like to acknowledge a nice Christmas card from the drum major of the University of Kentucky Marching Band. Sandra Banks, who says she'd like to be here with the lead. Indiana's Tony Brown at the strike. The bonus, the bonus shot is in there. So it's 50, 66 to 55. Kentucky by 11. Indiana picking up all over the court now. All right, Macy. Looking, looking, still looking. Still looking. LeVon Williams takes it in, gives it back to Macy. Over to Menafield. Menafield is double team, bounces back to Macy. Macy dribbles it over the line, and he is tripped by Tony Brown. And it's been about all Kentucky in the second. Kyle Macy's free throw is rolling off, and that's his first miss, and that stops his record. He had set the consecutive free throw record and was adding to it every time, but he's missed outing start over. All right, here is Eisenberger. Turns 10-footer, no good. Rebounded, put back up, no good. But here. Kentucky will have to hit free throws. Their best free throw shooter, Kyle Macy, just missed the first time this season. This one, no good. Rebounded by Dirk Menafield. Menafield gives it off to LeVon Williams, takes it back, and Menafield says, let me have it. I'll go one-on-one, -on -one. and he does and gets it over the timeline. He's still moving on the dribble, gets double team, gives to Cowan on the right side. Cowan looking. Anderson goes over, takes a handoff from him. So Anderson moving around. He starts back out, moves down the right side. Bluffs him. Gives to Cowan, back to White Anderson. Anderson behind the back dribble, left side. Goes into the left corner, bounces out to LeVon Williams to Menafield. 50 seconds to go. Menafield is on the dribble. He breaks off to the side and draws a foul in there from Tony Brown. So Dirk Menafield will go to the line. He's hit one out of two to make the fouls. Good. Dirk Menafield has his fourth point. 67-56 Kentucky. 46 seconds to go. The clock stopped as Menafield. Rebound to Indiana. Pulled down by Tony Brown, who races out of there with it for the Hoosiers. They've got a fire. They can't take much time. And here's a driving one-hander that is no good. Tapped up, no good. Put back up and good by James Thomas, a 6-3 freshman. As Kentucky went to sleep on the board. Here's Minifield getting double team. Gives it off to Anderson, who runs it over the line. 67-58. Anderson spins away from Thomas. Moves down the left side. Hands it to Macy. Out in the backcourt to LeVon Williams. Macy comes and gets it. 18 seconds to go. Kentucky's got it. Macy on the right side. Reverses. Looks. Bounces off to Cowan. 11 seconds. Metafield with it. Kentucky's going to upset the number one team. Metafield drives. Lays it in. Five 
seconds to go. Kentucky has done it. 69-58. Only five seconds left. Indiana up court. Four seconds. Here is a jump shot. And it is no good. The game is over. And Kentucky defeats the number one ranked Hoosiers of Indiana. 69-58. We'll be right back. This is the University of Kentucky Basketball Network. Indiana Hoosiers by a score of 69 to 58. And to give you the story, here's Ralph. Well, it was a night that you could have counted the Wildcats out in the first half if there'd been an average basketball team. They were not. We knew that, so nobody counted them out. And they stormed from a 13-point deficit to cut it to just three at halftime at 39-36, the Hoosiers leading, and it came back to go ahead 40 to 39 to the second half. The game was then tied at 43 all, 45 all, 47 all, 49, 51, and at 53. Then the Cats went to work. Isaiah Thomas fouled out of the game with 6.43 to go. He was the man that was keeping Indiana in the ball game. He had 14 points when he fouled out. He is the team leader, even though he's just a freshman. From there on out, it was Kentucky's game. It was just a matter of running the clock down and playing their hearts out, which they did. Great individual play tonight by a lot of the Wildcats. Jay Scheither tossed in 11 points. Jay went 5 of 7 from the outside. 12 points to Kyle Macy this evening. 13 points for LeVon Williams, and with 13, he leads Kentucky in scoring tonight. 11 of those he got in the second half of play. 7 points to Dwight Anderson. Sam Bowie had 6 points all of the first half, and that's what he finishes up the game with. Freddie Cowan only had three points. He did not have a great basketball game offensively, but he did play good defense in the second half, and he went to the boards very, very well. Dirk